Do you feel that you work all day but you achieve very little? There are many people who feel that we work for the entire day but still our productivity is not as required. So what are the different things that can be done to increase your productivity? In this video, I am going to give you 6 tips to increase your productivity and make the most out of your day. Tip number one is to make a to-do list. Whenever you start working, the first thing in the morning you have to do is to make a to-do list. To-do list means you have to list the tasks that you have to do in the entire day. Then you have to prioritize the task. First of all, make a list of all the things that you want to do in the entire day. Then you have to prioritize it. The things that are most important go in A category. Second important thing go in B category. And the least important things go in C category. Then accordingly you have to divide the time of the day like in which time you have to do what. So the most prioritized task that is A category task comes first. You have to complete them first then you have to move to, move to the B category things. Tip number two is to use your prime time effectively. Prime time means the time when you feel you are most productive. Like for me, my prime time is early hours of the morning. So the things that I feel are the most important, I do them first thing in the morning. So you have to recognize your prime time, like what is my prime time and the things that are of high importance, you have to do those things in your prime time. Tip number three is stick to the time frame. So when you make a to-do list, you have to write the time against each activity. For example, the activity one that I'm going to do for the, for the first thing in the morning, it will take 10 minutes. The activity two will take 30 minutes. So the time frame that you have noted down against each activity, you have to stick to it. If it is 10 minutes, it should not take more than 11 minutes in any case. Otherwise, your to-do list is going to fail. So you have to challenge yourself that I am going to stick to the time frame at any cost. Tip number 4 is identify your time wasters. All of us waste a little time in doing things that are least important. So my time waster could be answering a phone call during doing something very important, chatting on WhatsApp, checking my social media accounts or anything or chit chatting with my colleagues or any simple gossip or discussion that I'm doing during my work. So identify your time wasters and then fix up a time for them. For example, let us suppose I uh, waste most of my time on social media. So I have to make a rule that during my work, I'm not going to check my social media accounts. Then if you feel that you waste a lot of time on WhatsApp, then when you are doing something very, very important, at that time you are, you are going to keep your WhatsApp notifications on mute and you are not going to check your WhatsApp. So this way you have to identify your time wasters and you really have to work hard so that you don't waste your time on those things. So the next and a very important tip is to manage your time assertively. So it has basically two things. One is when I say manage your time assertively, it means you have to stick to your time breaks. You have to schedule your time breaks and you have to stick to them. For example, if I have decided that after doing two hours of work, I'm going to take a 10 minutes break, then that 10 minutes break should not exceed. Secondly, if I have to take a break after two hours, then I'm not going to take it before that. Then the second thing is learn to say no assertively, which means if some, some of your colleagues or your manager or your boss, anybody comes up to you and tells you to do something, then you should listen to them and tell them that I'm doing something very important. Once I finish this off, then I'm going to take that task. Or if you are very occupied or full for the entire day, then you can tell them I won't be able to give you time today. I will be able to do it tomorrow. So the last and most important one is stop multitasking. You know, most of the people in this world feel that all of us are multitaskers. But as per the research, only 2% of the entire population of the world are actually multitaskers. And when we hear this, we feel that I am one of those 2%, which is not true. So stop multitasking. When you are doing one thing, just focus on one thing 
and then once you finish it off then move on to the other one so when we do two or more than two things at the same time our productivity really decreases so complete the first task then move to the second task so you can use these six tips to increase your productivity at work but you have to understand one thing that you have to follow all six following three to four or one or two of them is not going to help you to increase your productivity and again there is one more thing that you have to do when you start following these six tips you have to stick to them and you have to be very very consistent you cannot do this that you follow these tips for six days and on the seventh day you don't follow them if you have to uh, get results you have to be consistent thank you so much for watching